Question number seven, 19 gallons per minute. Um, for three hours. <laughs> okay, so what they're saying is it's a constant rate of change. So if, if we think of the rate of change as f of x, um, it's, it's just a constant 19. So really what we're doing is we're going to integrate 19 dt. Since they say per minute, we're going to go from 0. It's 3 hours, but how many hours is, uh, or how many minutes are in 3 hours? 180. Okay, so, and then you got to evaluate that. So if I take the antiderivative of this, I'm going to get 19x, right? Evaluated from 0 to 180, or in other words, one, 19 times 180 minus 19 times 0. Uh, so what's 19 times 180? 3420. Yeah, 3420, so it's probably 8. See what I did there? Now you can do it on the calculator just as well. If I come in here, I can put 19 in. Oh, let me clear everything out. Put 19. I'm going to set the window because I've got some big numbers. Um, we're going from 0 to 180, so I'm going to set my x value from 0 to 200. My y min is going to go from 0 and probably 4,000. Now, do you know where I'm getting these parameters for my x and y values? Wait, why would you just do 19? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So his question is, if your graph... Yeah. <laughs> I still have a cold. If your graph, if your graph is y equals 19, um, why do you need such a high y? And I was, he was right. It should just be like 20. So we'll do 20 here. So I'll graph it. Oops, it's still too big. I knew you guys were going to laugh. It sounded like you were laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, every I got this cold. That's why I stayed home on Wednesday. I got this cold, so every time I talk, I, I want to cough. And I'm trying not to. Um, so now I just want to evaluate the area under the curve from 0 to 180. So my lower limit is 0. My upper limit is 180. Well, I've been with the bacon sizzle. It'll be 3420. That makes sense? Booyah. Okay. Okay. 